The iPhone 8, Apple's most anticipated iPhone ever after three years of same design and making Apple fans thirsty, we're finally getting a guaranteed bezel-less OLED display made by Samsung. A gloss bag covered with stainless steel, fast charging, wireless charging, etc. Most of these features can be found on other phones, but there is something Apple is doing with the iPhone 8 that could be its killer feature. As we are moving closer to the announcement month, more details have started to appear. Today, a new report came out and it states that the iPhone 8 will rock a laser system with its camera. This will allow for faster autofocus for videos and photos and depth detection for portrait mode and AR applications. Apple has purchased Reset Laser System, Vertical Cavity Surface Emitting Laser. And the source said that the additional cost of this to Apple would be $2 per phone. Now we've heard about this before, how Apple being serious about AR, Microsoft got HoloLens, Google's got Tango and Daydream VR. Facebook's looking into AR glasses and Apple has showed us their plans on AR with iOS 11's impressive AR kit. AR has the potential to transform the world like never before by layering the digital information over reality. IKEA is actually partnering with Apple, so they're working on an AR app that'll let customers visualize how a piece of furniture will fit into their own home. With 3D sensing laser technology, the iPhone 8's camera would potentially be able to scan a room and measure the dimensions without the need of an actual instrument like a tape. Like possibilities are endless, which is why this could be the iPhone 8's killer feature. The front facing camera on the iPhone 8 has been called revolutionary by none other other than Ming Shi Ko, thanks to the 3D facial scanner, which is not there just for unlocking the phone, but also to revolutionize your selfies. There might be a front facing portrait mode, which will calculate the depth and blur the background, creating amazing high quality selfies. We also have some additional information about this 3D facial scanner. Apparently, Apple has been working on this for the past three years. No wonder why KGI predicts the death of Touch ID. The new 3D facial scanner would be able to unlock your phone and read your face from all angles even when lying flat on the table. It is reported that this feature collects more data points than a fingerprint scanner which in turn makes sense that it is more secure than the Touch ID system. Apple claims that its fingerprint scanner only has 1 in 50,000 chance of being unlocked by somebody else's finger. Considering that, the 3D facial scanner will be pretty secure. The 3D sensors on the iPhone 8 would pick up various facial elements such as the eye sockets, chin, nose, unique skin lines, patterns, and spots on the skin. Basically, the overall intention here is that they want to replace the older format with a new security system that will allow to unlock your phone, authenticate payments, and launch secure apps by scanning their face. But still, there is a huge doubt. What about ladies who have so much makeup on every day? Will it be able to read their face without the makeup? Will it be really secure? Will it be super fast and reliable? How about sensitive information, Apple Pay? It's a big, brave, dumb, risky decision for Apple to just have one way of security on the iPhone 8. Because of this sensitive info, Samsung still have iris scanner and fingerprint scanner on the S8 and the upcoming Note 8 for Samsung Pay. Also, Apple is facing some issues with wireless charging, so it may not happen right after the release, but Apple will roll out an update to enable it later. Venya Geskin said that the iPhone 8 could come in a mirror-like finish, which is nice from Apple. This should really separate it and create that premium look. So yeah, the iPhone 8 may have a unique killer feature in the form of AR, but still the question remains for its security and we're still not exactly sure if the Touch ID will be on the phone or not. Again, we'll see a lot more news in the upcoming days. Be sure to subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on this and I'll see you guys soon. Peace out.